splitting sound. Think of all the poisonous gases that would be spewed forth. Excuse me, folks, let's try to keep the children now as quiet as you can. I'm having a little difficulty concentrating, so please keep the children as quiet as you can. Think of all the poisonous gases coming forth from the two solid rocket boosters and the shuttle's engines. Look up to the tower one more time, the launch pad, and notice some heavy steel cables going off to the left side. This might so sound like fun to the boys and girls, but that's a last-minute escape system for the astronauts. If we thought that big rocket was about to explode underneath the astronauts, we would tell them by radio. They would hobble out to those cables as quickly as they could, jump into some baskets, and make a slide for life down those cables to the ground. There we would have some underground rooms or bunkers that they could enter into until the danger was passed. Now, ordinarily, I'd be playing a tape along here that's talking about the space laboratory. The space laboratory fits right inside the cargo bay of the shuttle orbiter. Folks, would you believe that cargo bay is 15 feet in diameter and 60 feet long? So they can put quite a good-sized laboratory inside the shuttle orbiter. The shuttle orbiter carries up to seven people. Now that's the shuttle orbiter, and we've been talking about that all this time. But we want to switch our attention now to the Saturn V Apollo moon rocket. That huge building in front of you is designed for the Saturn V. You're looking at two doors on this side of the building. They, they can build two rockets at a time and bring them out through one of those two doorways. 